So in my previous videos, I did an end-to-end -end of how to set up the whole Selenium system and doing automated testing using the browser and using the Selenium server and using the Selenium IDE that way. Um, but I didn't really concentrate on the Selenium IDE. So here I'm going to open up the Selenium IDE and I'm going to show you how it is really a full-fledged IDE. So um, I'm going to start recording stuff uh, using Google Maps here and lots of times I like to toggle that because it seems to be a little bit finicky sometimes so I'm gonna type in simply Cleveland Ohio here and you can see on the side here it actually uh, typed in Cleveland Ohio then I'm gonna start pushing some buttons moving it over um, zooming in up a little bit over and zooming in some more and then switching to satellite view scrolling down and zooming in some more so um you'll notice I'm gonna stop recording here and I'm gonna show you how I could play this back so if I highlight this and notice if I right click there's a couple of commands so if I simply click X it'll execute that and notice it went back to the maps and if I use my up and down arrows and I click uh, simply the, the keyboard button X to execute you if you remember that was the f one of the first things I did was to shrink that panel and I'm, I'm just gonna move my arrow keys up and down here and what it's doing is replaying exactly what I did before. Now, interestingly, it didn't capture my typing of Cleveland, Ohio. So let me insert a command here. Insert command. And the command I'm going to have is See that they have drag and weight focus and there's a kind of like a send keys. So send keys, I could find the target. And the value that I want to send there is Cleveland. Ohio Okay, so, so you notice what I did was there, I, I started recording again, um, and I'm going to delete my command here, uh, So and I'm going to stop recording. So I actually interjected, you see, in the middle there, just to figure out, you know, what the target was, and I found it by interjecting a record into the middle of the script. So let's see now if, if I highlight that and I click X and I restart the whole browser I'm gonna send this command over by and again the commands are here so execute command is simply the X on the keyboard when I have this highlighted and I'm scrolling down each command 
So you see now it's replaying everything I did before. And I could even skip the steps I want. So that's a, a demonstration of exactly how it is a full-fledged IDE. And if you remember, um, ah, oddly enough, they're down here. So, um, let me delete those commands. So I must have reshuffled the command somehow before. Um, but the next thing you can do is actually export these into some of your favorite languages. So I'm gonna rename this to Google Maps Web Driver. And this test, I'm actually gonna export again to Google Maps Remote Control, just so you could distinguish. So in my next video, I'm, I'm going to do a comparison between the web driver, which is the newer method of using Selenium uh, simply by going through the APIs versus the remote driver or remote control, which goes through an HTTP server that is installed on the uh, machine and or, or remote server. So, all right. Uh, thank you for watching.